volcanoes. In the year 79, Mount Vesuvius, a volcano in Italy, blew up. Hot melted rock from deep inside the earth pushed up through the mountain. The top of the mountain exploded. Ash, cinders, and stones buried Pompeii, a great city below the mountain. Nearly 2,000 years later, Mount Vesuvius still spouts steam and ash, but not as much as it did long ago. In 1815, the same thing happened in Indonesia, a group of islands between Asia and Australia. Mount Tambora blew its top. Billions of tons of the mountain were turned into ash. They were thrown into the air. Winds carried the ashes all around the earth. They made a cloud that blocked out the sun. The earth got colder and colder. The next year, 1816, was called the year without a summer. The New England states had six inches of snow in June, and there were frosts in July and August. That's how cold it was. In 1980, in the state of Washington, the top of Mount St. Helens blew up. Before it did, the earth shook. There was a rumble and a bang so loud it was heard 300 miles away. When the mountain exploded, steam, gas, and ashes were thrown into the air. The top of the mountain was gone. It had turned to hot ash. Lightning flashed inside the dark clouds. Huge trees were flattened by the blast. Here and there, the heat started fires. The hot ash melted snow on the mountain and made a thick mud that flowed down the sides. The mud covered fields and forests. Lakes, ponds, and rivers were filled with it. The mud buried animals, houses, and people. The eruption of Mount St. Helens was not a surprise. Geologists, people who study the earth, knew that the volcano had erupted about a hundred years ago, and it was bound to happen again. Geologists watch volcanoes for signs of an eruption. They listen for rumblings. Mount St. Helens had been rumbling off and on for more than a hundred years. Geologists knew that these rumblings were warnings. Geologists also measure earthquakes. Before a volcano erupts, there are usually earthquakes in the region. Volcanoes and earthquakes occur because our planet is always changing. Parts of it are always moving. The earth is covered with soil, sand, and broken rocks. Under that are layers of solid rock called the crust. The crust is broken into huge sections called plates. Geologists have given the plates names. Under the layers of solid rock, there is partly melted or molten rock called magma. The plates move on the magma. They don't move much, only about as fast as your fingernails grow, but they keep moving year after year after year. In some places, two plates move apart, and where they do, hot magma pushes up between them. After it comes to the surface, magma is called lava. The lava cools and it becomes solid rock. That is happening in places under the oceans right now. Huge underwater mountain ranges. They've been building up. In some places, plates move apart. In other places, they push together and one plate moves under another. Or one plate may slide past another. These movements shake the earth. They make earthquakes. All Mount St. Helens at Mount St. Helens, an edge of the small Juan de Fuca plate has been moving under the North American plate for thousands of years. As it has moved under, the heavy plates have rubbed together. The friction between the plates made the lower plate hot enough to melt. The hot molten rock pushed upward. Most of the magma stayed under the mountain. It pushed upward, but it did not break through. Some came through cracks in the side of Mount St. Helens. Heat, steam, and pressure from the magma blew off the mountain, off the top of the mountain. 
Volcanoes don't just happen anywhere. The map shows where volcanoes are located around the world, and you can see that they usually occur, occur where one plate meets another. Most volcanoes are along the shores of the Pacific Ocean. They are at the edge of the huge Pacific, o P Pacific Plate. There are so many that the region is called the Ring of Fire. And that's also where most earthquakes occur. Some volcanoes are not on plate ridge edges. Hawaii is in the middle of the Pacific plate. There, molten rock pushes up through a weak spot in the plate. The islands of Hawaii are made from the lava that has built up there. As the islands have formed, they have been carried slowly northwest by the movement of the plate. Volcanoes are still erupting on Hawaii, and new lava is coming to the surface. There are thousands of volcanoes around the world. Some erupted years and years ago, but will probably never erupt again. They are inactive. Others are active and they could go off again. From time to time, a new volcano will appear. And when a new volcano begins, the ground may get warmer. There may be small earthquakes and steam may come out of the ground. That's what happened in 1943 at Paracutan in Mexico. Paracutan is on a boundary between two plates. One plate dug under another and a field became a volcano. The farmer who owned it, Dionisio Polito, noticed his field was getting warmer. And after a few days, the field cracked open and steam and molten rock spurted out of it. A bulge grew in the field and it got higher and higher. The field became a hill and then a small mountain and the mountain became hotter and hotter. Rock, steam, lava and ashes were thrown out of cracks in it. Ashes covered the countryside. Winds carried them as far as 200 miles away. Houses and churches were covered. Whole towns were buried under ash. Dionisio Polito's farm was gone. It had become a volcano nearly a quarter mile high. Geologists cannot tell exactly when a new volcano will be born or when an old one will erupt. Small earthquakes or rumblings warn geologists that a volcano could erupt tomorrow. Then again, it might be months or even years before it happens. Geologists do know that most volcanoes will occur along the ring of fire. If not there, the volcano will probably occur at the edge of some other plate. But don't worry about a volcano in your backyard. That doesn't happen very often. Besides, geologists are always watching the earth for changes and usually they're able to warn us long before a volcano blows its top.